Does anybody remember Matilda the movie? I loved it. I remind myself of Miss Honey. Hey guys, and welcome to a new beauty get ready with me chat type video. Today I'm going to try a lot of brand new products. It's almost like those videos where YouTubers are doing first impressions, like a whole face of first impressions, but not the whole face, just some of it. There's a lot of new products I'm going to try today. And the first thing I'm going to try is this golden mask. This mask was sent to me. I didn't know it was even coming from the Face Tory. It almost looks like Factory, but it's Face Tory. Such cute packaging. And I really wanted to try this because today's video is inspired by friends and what you go through in life with changing your friends. And it's going to be a makeup all including things that look like honey. I want it like a honeycomb inspired makeup inspired by this, my gold background. I don't know. I've just been really attracted to yellow eyeshadow and golds lately. Why is this slime? I've never done one of these paper masks, FYI, and this one is so... Ooh, it smells good though. It's slimy as all can be. I love the packaging though. I'm sucker for that packaging. Anything floral, slap it on my face and body. I don't know if you've ever pet baby stingrays. I have, but they feel like this. But let's try it. We have to put this on for like 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh, I feel like a robot. I feel like this is the future. Ugh, it feels disgusting. I hope I don't break out with this. Because I have sensitive skin. I feel like I will. So now that that was off and that was terrible, let's get on with the makeup and talk about different types of friends and what happens when you grow up in life and all your friends leave you. No, they don't all leave you, but people do change, I feel like. When you get older, you get more responsibilities and it's hard to keep track of people in life, especially when you're in a relationship. I never want to be one of those people who stops being friends with someone just because they're in a relationship because there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of couples like that where they just like, oh, I want to spend a night in with my boo. I don't want to see friends. And there are so many people like that and it happens so easily and so quickly without them even realizing it. All of a sudden they are like have a ball and chain hooked up to their boo, their partner in crime, their bae. But you always need to like have a group of friends, I feel like, because what if, God forbid, something happens to you and your bae, your boo, your partner in crime, and they leave you or you leave them and you ain't got no friends to help support you out of your deep, dark hole of a pit of a depression from the one you love the most leaving, you know? Because I literally have like less than five really good friends and I can't risk losing any of them because they're all great quality people. By the way, I'm using the new Sigma 3D H3 blender because I thought oh, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try the pink one. I don't know what the difference is. Why are there two different colors? So confused. I try to find paperwork on it that they would give me. Nope. But yes, friends are so odd and different. Sometimes, sometimes, can I speak? Sometimes you'll have friends who will be there for you through thick and thin. And not one friend is perfect. You can't expect them to all be the same, unfortunately. You can't all have them be there for you all the time. Not all your friends will get along. And, ooh, this is not that bad. Okay. Also, some friends will be there for you. Great supporters when you're down. But some friends will only be there for you when you're happy. Because some people don't know how to deal with depression. It doesn't always mean that they're out to get you, that, you know, they're two-faced and they just want to be there on your happy moments. It's just some people don't know how to deal with certain situations. The older I get, I'm finding it's a lot harder to find friends who are really, really great and could be great in all aspects. You can't find a superhero friend. You can't find a Superman friend or a Wonder Woman friend. But it's also really hard to find someone who you could trust any secret to. And as you're an adult, you have to kind of keep those to yourself because it's so hard to trust people. And we're all changing and growing. And you might have said something really dumb when you were younger and then people will judge you for that for the rest of your life. But we always are growing and changing for the better mostly. I mean, some of us, I don't know, but mostly I think that humans in nature grow to be a better version of themselves because we, in life, experience more things which tends to make us really understand humans more and how we interact with each other 
and how just everything works, you know? Man, that was really quick. I really like this. But as I was saying, the older I get, the more I realize that not everybody can have the same gang or group of friends. I say gang because, you know, there are some people that's like rare to find nowadays where they have the same friends throughout high school and college and even in adulthood. And that's so rare. I have a cousin, he has the same friends as he's had since he was literally in like middle and high school and he's like in his mid thirties. I'm like, that is so cool. I wish I had that. It's just so interesting because a lot of people move around and I never moved around and I'm lucky enough to have a couple, well, a couple meaning two, best friends since high school and I'm a lot older than high school. I have these dents here and I wanna to try to fix it. But our last chit chat, get ready with me, I talked about my anxiety and I will worry about the dumbest things that I overthink like, oh, what is, is this friend mad at me? Did I say this wrong? But I feel like a lot of people are like that. And I'm always afraid of some change, not all change. The older I get, the less afraid of change I am. I get used to it because change happens in people, but I'm afraid of fighting with friends so much. But the older I get, I also realize not fighting is normal with friends, but you can't be afraid of your friends. Just like when they're sad and when they're happy, you can't be afraid to not argue with them, but state your opinion and not be afraid of what they're gonna say. You have to have a friend who you don't feel any judgment. That's why they're your friend in the first place is there's some sort of trust connection there where you feel like, I'm sure that like, they won't judge you because you guys have, you came together to have stuff that you like about each other. I don't know why lately, but this side of my head, the contour goes on super strong and no other part of my face. It's just odd to me how I could be friends with someone for over a decade and I will still be afraid to tell them things. And I think it is part of me as a person and of course anxiety again, I'm so tired. I don't mean to blame everything on my anxiety, honestly, but it comes into factor sometimes. Contouring my nose is such a weird thing. Like who's gonna be like, oh girl, you didn't contour that nose right, you didn't put enough brown streaks down your nose correctly. I think I'm gonna highlight now, why not? Since I'm doing a honey type makeup, why not use this bright yellow? Highlight, whoo girl. This highlight is like your bestest friend who you could call out for in the morning if you need help and how to fight with your boyfriend. I love this highlight, it never lets me down. I think this yellow tone in it is my favorite one because there's like five different colors. It's so versatile. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to try the Nikki Tutorials Ofra highlight collaboration because it looks similar to this but there's three different shades. There's some friends I have that like, they're the ones I could tell just random everyday things to. Then there's some friends I could tell talk about work to and I can't tell the work things to that I tell the everyday friend stuff to, you know what I mean? Then there's some friends who I could talk about my family with and who knows my family on a personal level and who's been there for me when like, my grandma dies and we would be in the car together while I was crying about my grandma dying eating cake just as that's our only meal of the day. That literally happened. When you got friends like that, you know, life is good. Fun stuff. But then there's those friends that you've done stupid things with, who you get kicked out of Starbucks with. This is gonna be such a long video of me explaining to you all the dumb things I've done. Everyone needs to look back on life and if you haven't been embarrassed about something in your life, then you're living your life wrong. If you don't have a picture of yourself with a dumb haircut, wearing a dumb outfit, doing something dumb at some point, then I feel like you have not left, lived your life to the truest level. If you live your life in fear and just stay in and don't wanna go outside or do anything, you're gonna regret it. When you're about to like, unfortunately pass away, we never think about the things, oh, I'm so glad I stayed indoors and worried and didn't do anything with anybody. We worry about all the things we didn't do, all the places we didn't go, that trip to Tokyo where we wanted to go to Disney Tokyo with our friends. You should never have that friend. I've seen so many people be in this type of friendship where you feel like you can't truly be yourself and you question everything you do when you're around that friend. That's not a good friend. 
a hundred years later, still doing my eyebrows. And I feel like I'm not a person who's super picky. It's not like, oh, I need an evaluation to see if you want to be my friend. Not like that. But I do like friends who you could be doing anything. You could be doing your laundry together. You could be doing grocery shopping, like boring everyday things that other friends would not want to do. You have those friends, I guess there are different types of friends. Some friends I, I have want to go drinking and want to go to the club and other friends I have, I could take them grocery shopping with me and it won't be a boring adventure because we make such a commotion. <laughs> what I mean is we are the type of people that will get kicked out of Target not get kicked out, but get yelled at, like, they're too loud, they need to be quiet. This is a store for families. We're not like we're cousins or anything, but you know what I mean? We're just so loud and obnoxious that people question our lives, and I'm like, that's a true friend. I need to find a friend, though, who will take me, like, on antiquing. I have Bunny, and she's all the way in Texas, and it makes me so sad that she doesn't live in California. But understand, Texas is great too. They have great food, great live music, cheaper homes, amazing thrifting and vintage stuff. I'm like, why don't I live there? But it's just too hot for me. And my family would be so sad because they all live out here. I feel like I'm painting mustard on my eyelids and that's fine. Then you have those friends who are like kind of mischievous and they live on their own time. I remember I had this friend and like every time I would lend him something. I learned the hard way that I would never get it back. And when I had like Netflix back when, oh, well, I guess you could still get the DVDs in the mail. He wanted to borrow one of the movie that I was watching. I never saw that back and I learned the hard way. He lived on his own time too. You would tell him to come meet me at my house at five o'clock, we're all gonna get together and go out for burgers. And he would show up at 8.30, it's just his time. I feel like yellow eyeshadow is not shown up that much in eyeshadow palettes. And for springtime, I just feel like it's a wonderful idea. I don't know why I've been craving to put yellow eyeshadow on my eyes. I've been thinking about this makeup look for days, literally daydreaming about it. I don't know, maybe I was inspired by Beyonce. You know, the beehive. I don't know what it was, but I just woke up my, I need yellow eyeshadow on my eyes. Also, what I've learned when I was older, I respect people so much who stand up to you and ask you, hey, I heard from so-and-so you said this, have you been talking about me behind my back? Without being like super mean or angry about it, because a lot of time just being straightforward will just solve the problem. It may be so scary, you might get like your blood pressure rise, but it's worth it, trust. Being not blunt all the time, but sometimes in your adulthood helps so much and actually gets you farther than you think, even though a lot of times it's scary. I don't know why I've been loving doing these makeup chat videos. Maybe it's because I don't have any fr friends or that many, that's what I'm talking to you guys about imaginary friends I have in my head. Kidding. But it's been so much fun and I love trying different beauty products. Busting this baby out for the first time, this is the Violet Voss Pro Huge Palette. But there are those friends who also, they're almost always in a relationship and it feels like you're dating, not dating. You're also a friend with the person whoever they're in a relationship with and then if they break up, it's really sad. There's people out there who can't, they always feel like they need someone to be whole and it's so sad. Sometimes people just need time off. This is Monica and she's not even like a showstopper. She's like a matte brown with a slight hints of caramel in her. And it's so pretty with this yellow. I'm dying in a good way. I need more glitter. <laughs> Who doesn't? I want the glitter to drip like honey, like glitter tears. I wish I could cry glitter, although it'd probably get everywhere and then it wouldn't be a good idea. It's a good idea in my brain, but then when you really think about it, it'd probably be terrible. I never want to be one of those people, like I want, of course, my significant other to be liked like my friends and it won't always happen. It's hard being in a relationship and trying to keep your friends, but I always make the effort or I try to. I could honestly see why some people lose their friends, but it's a bad idea to lose your friends and keep your boyfriend or keep your girlfriend or whoever. Oh, the worst though is when your best friends don't like the person you're dating. That's what a lot of people are afraid of and I think that's why they start not mixing friends with their boyfriends and I understand but like you have to do it. 
if you really want your best friends to be included in your life. That liner, whoo, girl. I've never done such a good liner job. As I mess it up, I shouldn't say that now. I'm gonna mess it up. Looks like a bee stinger, that's what I was going for. Well, fun fact, I can't find my black eyeliner to do the tight line like I usually do, so I'm just going to use brown. I can't stand this skin not being colored in. Now lashes, yay! Oh my gosh, and then there's friends who are like, who get really sad and then they don't tell you that they're sad and they get distanced from themselves because they feel like if they're so sad and depressed they don't want to hurt other people and it's actually kind of distancing your friendship I feel like but to them they feel like they just don't want to hurt you or make you go through what they're going through but that's what friends are for they don't like honestly take on all your problems no matter what but there's just so many different types of people and friends out there and sometimes you have those friends who you don't see every day every week or every month maybe you see them a couple times a year or every couple of years and it feels like time hasn't passed as weird as that sounds there are some friends like that when you get older i know when you get married i'm not married but i hear that it's hard even harder double times harder to keep friends Cause then you start being friends, I feel like more with married people. Cause they understand. I feel like married people, I'm not married at all, but this is just a theory I have. They become friends with other married people because they feel like if they mess up or do something wrong, they're so scared of messing up and arguing and fighting and divorcing that if something goes wrong, they ask their other married friends, oh, is this going wrong with you too, girl? Cause then that means that we're both either wrong or we're or we're not that bad off as you guys are. I feel like putting a ton of bottom mascara on today. I really want them to shine through that gold. I love gold! Does anyone know what that's from? And we just need to blend, blend. Every time I blend any type of makeup, it reminds me of the mom from Edward Scissorhands, which is my all-time favorite Tim Burton movie. We just need to blend and conceal, and I'm gonna consult my handbook. The lashes we are using today are all the wispy ladies. I love this one so much and I need something that's fluttery like wings. Plus I told you if in my mind's thought somehow I was inspired by Beyonce to do a bee honey type makeup, all the wispy ladies, I feel like that lash name was inspired by Beyonce herself. So it's just fitting to slap these suckers on my eyes. I wonder how famous people keep friends because I feel like most people struggle as they get older to keep friends but imagine being Beyonce status. Well she has the Destiny child and they like Kelly Rowland is still famous. Who can you trust when you have like so many opportunities and money in the world? Like imagine being one of the Kardashians and being on that show and having to keep a friend like how do they all have friends? It has to be hard dude because I honestly come from a man, my father, and we all say that he could be friends with the tree stump because me and him like to talk. We're friends with so many different types of people. I have friends who are like into all different things, all types of walks of life. Where's my transition color? Does anyone else get annoyed by saying that all the time? Because I feel like I say that so many times and contouring I say a lot. It's just some words you have to say all the time in makeup tutorials. That's why I like to do these chat videos because it's such a relief and like, then you blend. Then you add concealer and foundation hair. And oh my gosh, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown. The Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown, that sounds like a cute girl's name. Boysenberry. This is the lip. I think these are the, yes, artistic. And they're in like squeezy tubes. This is so unique and cool. It reminds me of like craft glue. Oh my gosh, I love this color. It's becoming spring and I thought like my lip the way they are around my face, I thought they would get smoother all of a sudden. Nope. Oh my gosh, and it has the mint feels. The mint feels is when it has like a minty tingly sensation or scent or taste. I love lip products that have that. I need to stop talking actually apply my lips. I overdrew my lips a little bit. Now I can take this out of my hair and let my bang go free. So I hope you guys like this chit chat, get ready with me video talking about friends and issues like that of growing up in life. I know what it is about spring, but it made me want to throw on some yellow eyeshadow onto my eyes. I thought about bees, honey, with spring, and Beyonce. That matches together. Tis the season, right? I don't know what it is that made me think of that, but I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It's such a great thing for me to sit here and tell you guys and talk to you about anything while just putting on makeup, just like real friends do in real life. Even though I'm in a room alone talking to a camera by myself, which sounds really creepy, but leave me a comment down below on who some of your closest friends are. If you don't feel like you have friends, sometimes when I'm going through things in life or at a certain stage, I am more closer with my family than friends, and some of your family, even your cousins, could actually be like your best friends and you never know it. We all have friends even if we don't think we do. We have each other. Subscribe for more videos like this and become a creator and there's a lot more effects makeups coming up. Oh my gosh, there's such great things. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Beauty and the Beast video. No, love you all. See you soon. Bye.